I'm just going to show you a couple of things that you can do with the new style picker tool. Uh, just a very quick video. Uh, this is Affinity Publisher 2, which has just been released. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of things that uh, I've noticed that work well and some things that I think are still needing some development. So say I've got this, uh, this circle here and I want to make this green, this red circle here, I want to make it look like the green one instead of going in and finding the color and picking it out and putting the border on. Now I can just use the style picker tool and I'll just um, refresh it by hitting the unload button. And all I do is take a sample of it when it's facing diagonally left, which means it's empty. You'll see it fills and it also, because I had it selected, it also um, actually did it on its own. So I can even um, apply it to another, another one if I like. So I can apply it to this one. You'll see because I didn't have it selected, it didn't automatically do it. So I'll change this one again. Maybe make it red, just so you can see. I'll select the small circle and then I'll unload it. Then while that's selected, it will automatically do it. So that's a pretty good feature. Um, it does also, it does copy across for shapes. It does copy the quick effects. So say if I wanted to make it uh, 3d shape or something like that and I want to add a shadow to it so make a little shadow for it now so there's quite a lot of information in there so I can unload the picker and copy that across and then I'll make it copy it into this one just by clicking on it I can do it to the other one now you can also work with gradients and things um, you can make all kinds of things so for these I just wanted to make some some little droplets like a splat kind of you know goo kind of shape <clears throat> and instead of having to go in and make new shapes and copy the all the settings across uh, I can just do the same thing I can just click on the see I had it selected so it automatically does it so you can just click on the shape and it will auto fill those same settings. If I want to add a border to it, say I want this to have a little cartoon style border like that, then I can go in, do the same thing, take that setting, pop it across to all the others. Obviously that doesn't look right, but the settings, including the shadows, seem to work pretty well. Uh, one thing I have noticed is if I put a shadow, so I'll just do this first. So same thing works with text. So I'll take the style picker and I'll take those settings and I want to put them in this word here. Now I will, I'll hold down and I'll drag. So it selects the whole word and I'll do it. Um, actually, I'll just undo that. So you can do single letters as well, which is fine. One thing I have noticed though, is it doesn't seem to carry unless I'm doing something wrong please tell me if I am it doesn't seem to carry the quick FX settings across via this if it's in text so say if I have this the font the size everything else seems to work okay but any quick effects tools don't seem to be applied so I'll just do this and I'll show you it should do the size and the font and the color. Yeah, so anything for now, it doesn't seem to work, but um, maybe they'll uh, fix that up in an update or something. So there's just a few quick things you can do with the style picker tool that I have found um, very handy. Obviously go to the Affinity uh, website and check out some of their videos as well. Hope this helps, thanks.